You know, whenever I meet a creative AI, and I mean creative in this well-curated, entertaining type of sense, my mind shoots out sparkles. This is why when I saw this, and this, I knew that this video is going to be perhaps a very strange but very real love letter. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will talk about DALI. OpenAI posted on 5th of January on its blog information about new algorithm based on GPT-3 called DALI. What is it exactly? Just like GPT-3, DALI is a transformer language model and not only it is able to create impossible images from scratch, it's highly creative and understands language on a deeper level than any AI built so far. A blend of the name of the artist Salvador Dali and Pixar's beloved character Wally. -E. In a nutshell, it creates images from text. Dali is a 12 billion parameter version of GPT-3, which is surprising given that GPT-3 itself has 175 billion parameters and it's still a huge number. However, it's extremely exciting and surprising that it's able to come up with extraordinary results with just 12 billion parameters. I am very excited to see the next iteration of this algorithm. The algorithm was trained on a huge data set consisting of images and text describing images. It has a wide range of capabilities, many of which give me goosebumps and which I will discuss later in the video. Guys, I think we are looking at an AI that has a deeper understanding of the world. I think it's a huge milestone and I would love to be able to experiment with DALI and I already have some ideas about creating new worlds, new characters with it. DALI is not released yet. We have access via the OpenAI blog post, which I highly recommend you to check out. I'll leave the link in the description box. OpenAI plans to provide more details on the algorithm in the upcoming research paper and didn't mention yet any plans for releasing beta very or giving access to developers via its OpenAI API. However, many people are hot-headed and very excited about it, including me. I really believe that once access to DALI will get a bit more democratized, it has a chance to completely change the way we design things today. And they even mentioned that in their blog post, saying, quote, we recognize that work involving generative models has the potential for significant broad societal impacts. In the future, we plan to analyze how models like DALI relate to societal issues like economic impact on certain work processes and professions, the potential bias in the model outputs, and the longer term ethical challenges implied by this technology. That means they do suspect themselves that it has potential to change hugely the way we approach things right now. By the way, if you love AI just like me, consider subscribing down below so you don't miss upcoming episodes. But coming back, what is DALI good at? We find that DALI is able to create plausible images for a great variety of sentences that explore the compositional structure of language. We found that it has a diverse set of capabilities, including creating anthropomorphized versions of animals and objects, combining unrelated concepts in plausible ways, rendering text, and applying transformations to existing images. Let's see how that performs. Okay, so this is how it works. We have a text prompt. In this case, it's a triangular pink light bulb, a pink light bulb in the shape of a triangle. This second sentence is added to make sure that DALI will come up with the best result. By the way, we are not able to test the model ourselves and see its potential limitations, shortcomings, and how brittle it is. OpenAI probably very carefully chose the type of sentences and the type of objects, etc., that work well. So the text prompts are pretty limited, but still they give us a lot of freedom to have fun with. We are choosing the text prompt and then DALI generates images. DALI turns out to be amazing at texture imitations. And just look at that. I mean, their own example is amazing. I love this one. <laughs> a cube made of porcupine, a cube with the texture of porcupine. Yes, indeed, this is an amazing work. How about a rainbow? Oh, very pretty. Silk. Oh my God, so creative. I guess this is not a cube really. It's somewhat resembling a cube. I mean, so far they are they are amazing. I'm not sure if this can be considered silk, but 
Swiss cheese. Super, super cute. <laughs> Cylinder made of toothpaste. <gasps> so creative. I love the created cylinder of the toothpaste. Now let's see if the model can count. I heard that it cannot count. <laughs> the cute thing is that it classifies glasses both as glasses and, and oh, glasses. Two clocks. As we can see, it displays sometimes more clocks than two. Sometimes it's one, but oftentimes it gets it. Dali is not exactly great at counting, but honestly, we don't care. An emoji of a baby penguin wearing a blue hat, red gloves, green shirt and yellow pants. In this case, Dali has to figure out a lot of colors and items at the same time and get it right. As you can see, it can do that very well. Pretty well, pretty well. Blue hat, check. Red gloves, check. Green shirt, check. Yellow pants, uh-uh, uh-uh. Not always. Oftentimes, but not always. All right. Another super interesting capability is to be able to render different views. So it gets different types of perspective and it gets three dimensionality. Very, very exciting. Turtle in the forest. Mm -hmm. Fish Islands view is really, really good. It gets it every time, basically. Spherical panorama. Interesting. Oh my God, what happened here? Extreme close up. Not bad. Close up. Is there any difference? Oh yeah, very decent. Uh, 3D dimensionality, a capybara made of voxels sitting in a field. This is very, very pretty. 3D render, nice. Oh, damn it. So good. Nice. Oh my God. Oh, so pretty. Look very nice. It looks like real. The texture, amazing. Opening says that Dali is able perhaps to create a mirror reflection, but it doesn't seem to be super successful at that. It creates something completely different. A plain white cube looking at its own reflection in the mirror. This is not white. This is not a cube. Not very successful. The angle's pretty. I mean, it's so pretty spectacular that it can do this. Visualizing internal and external structure. Cross-section view of a walnut. <laughs> How about a volcano? Wow! Geography books. Oh my god, human head, I'm afraid. This, I hope this doesn't exist in real life. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. But other than that, it's really, really well done. And it's also able to show the macro photograph and uh, brain color. Oh, this is really nice. Espresso. Nice. <laughs> Coffee beans. It's definitely successful at this one. Here, another very exciting capability. Dali is able to translate text that is under specified to an image and it can do it in style. <laughs> Dali is definitely really, really well trained when it comes to style. Van Gogh Capybara, this is extremely cute. What is Cogar, by the way? Ooh, nice. Monet, drawing, crayon, chalk, illustration, poster, wood engraving. That's impressive. Very nice. Let's change it to Twilight. <gasps> It's amazing. It's amazing you can do all these things. Well, not, not everywhere it's moonlight, but still. A stained glass window with an image of a blue strawberry. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. So nice. Oh my goodness, so, so good. at that, I mean, oh, this is on marshmallows, it's too good to be true. 
So here OpenAI admits that when Dali is rendering text, the more sentence structures you provide it with, the better the outcome. That's why we have redundancy here. So prompt is as follows. A storefront that has the word OpenAI written on it, a storefront that has the word OpenAI written on it, a storefront that has the word OpenAI written on it, OpenAI storefront. Interesting. A can of soup. Dali. bottle of mouthwash oh this is so cute this is like kindergarten style gpt oh i want this mouthwash <laughs> i would totally buy such a mouthwash so then openai took a look at how dali performs in fashion and design since the capabilities that we have just uh, looked at appear there to a great extent a male mannequin dressed in an orange and a black flannel shirt, navy, leather jacket, and the beige sweatpants. Well, I didn't get the navy right most of the time, but um, I can definitely see it happening. I can definitely see it performing really well in the fashion industry. Mm. A lobster. A living room with two red armchairs and a painting of a lobster. The painting is mounted behind a ceiling fan. This is really, really good. Yes, it doesn't get the quantity right. Sometimes it doesn't get the chair right, but overall, oh, this is so out of the blue. This also, but many times it's very impressive. A locked bedroom with white bed next to a nightstand. There is a fish tank standing beside the bed. There is a cat standing beside the bed. <laughs> okay, cat is not necessarily beside the bed, but all over the bed, I guess. <laughs> Cats have that. They don't want to leave your bed, that's true. What is this creature? I don't think it's a cat. Is this a... <laughs> It's somewhat of a cat. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is hilarious. <gasps> what? <laughs> Dali can also combine unrelated concepts. And here, I guess the heritage of Salvador Dali kicks in. Look at that snail harp. A snail with the texture of a harp. A pig meal. <laughs> A pig made of mango. This is like proper designer work. Peacock made of toaster. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? A shark made of turnip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm gonna die here. Cats. Very cute. Oh my god. Cat made of submarine. <laughs> this is such childlike imagination. I love that. Think how many children animations can be created this way. <laughs> this is dangerous. The location is dangerous. A cat submarine. <laughs> An armchair in the shape of an avocado. An armchair imitating an avocado. This is a very cool design uh, in the form. Does that change anything? Oh, look at that. This is so pretty. I can't tell the difference. How about a peach? Mm, Pikachu. Oh, yes, I want. Mm. Mm, I think style is better. Rubik's Cube. Now, who doesn't like a chair like this? Oh my god, this is gorgeous. So creative. Butterfly wing. Very pretty. So, since it's able to combine unrelated objects, OpenAI decided to explore it in the context of art. And here, animal illustration, I guess, 
made of the biggest impression. So let's see. Baby take on radish in a tutu walking a dog. Mm. In a wizard hat. <laughs> Pikachu. I love Pokemon, by the way. <laughs> Watching TV. <laughs> Whoa, what is is that? In pajamas. No, that's too adorable. <laughs> I can't. I want more Pikachu. Pikachu with headphones. Riding a motorcycle. I guess it's dangerous. Sipping a latte. <laughs> oh, Pikachu in a Christmas sweater. Skating on ice. So adorable. Dali is amazing at illustration. I think so far this is my favorite example. A professional high quality illustration of a giraffe turtle chimera. Let's turn it into an emoji. Hedgehog. Hedgehog zebra chimera. <laughs> nice, this looks really good. How about illustration? Nice. That's amazing. Jellyfish, zebra. It's insane. It's insane what we can do. Jellyfish and toucan. Wow. A professional high quality emoji of love struck cup of boba. Of a scared cup of boba. Ah, perfect. Scared bowl of ramen. <laughs> Depressed bowl of ramen. <laughs> I'm sorry, no, 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 no. Cute bowl of ramen, yes. Yes, that's what we need. Cute virus. Evil virus. <laughs> just, just to be clear, it's a virus. <laughs> the exact same cut at the top as the sketch on the bottom. It's extremely impressive. It's not getting it 100% right. Same. <laughs> However, it's insanely good. A cell phone case with an animal. Wow. Surprisingly, Dali can also connect geographic facts. I wonder if there's Poland here. Poland, the food of Poland. Let's see what it comes up with. I am not so sure. Some of these, yes, definitely. By the way, they're like generated out of scratch. It's insane. Pancakes, beetroot, sabove. City streets of Poland. They do look like Polish city streets to me. Cool. How about Cambodia? Mm, nice, this is really, really nice. I've been to Cambodia actually, so I can <laughs> relate. And from my memories, it's um, it got the shapes, colors and everything kind of right. The type of architecture, ornaments, the golden ornaments, the wires even, yeah, this is really cool. Dali also can somewhat connect the different eras. To be honest, I don't know how accurate that is. I'm not a historian myself. <laughs> Distant future. 2010s, come on, we can do better than that. <laughs> Today, kinda, I'm Polish. Future, <laughs> interesting. Maybe in the apocalypse we will have to have more solid phones considering that the apocalypse will actually happen. Hopefully not. I guess that's all. Oh my god, that was amazing. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit the subscribe button below if you don't want to miss the next episodes and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.